Hello, my name is Don. Uh, I'm in year 11. Hi, my name is Meg. I'm from year 11. Hi, my name is Per. I'm in year 10. What preparations did you do before you KMT? In year 11, we are taking the IGCSE exam, so doing some past papers of the exam itself and the UK MTF challenges also help, helps me uh, for the preparation of the UKMT. Um, before doing UKMT, I always do like the part, past question and I also participate in Intermediate Match Challenge ECA which teacher gave us a lot of past paper to do it before UKMT. Um, before, uh, I'm currently in year 11 and so we were preparing for our mock exams so we already had some preparation in um, past papers and certain types of questions and so I think that really um, helped me. How did you improve your UKMT results? In last year I got silver in this challenge. You just need to do a lot of practice and you will get a better score. Um, from last year I believe I got a silver um, and to get a gold what I did was um, have better preparation and uh, better time management and strategies how to answer the questions. Honestly, it, it's my first year taking the uh, UKMT challenge, so uh, I can't say much, but I think doing some past papers would help. They say that if you want to get to the UKMT Intermediate Challenge, you need to have half mathematical ability, half skill. What do you think it means? Well, I'd say that I would agree with that. Um, I think it means that you have to have uh, like math knowledge, but also the ability to uh, apply it into the types of questions that they ask you. Um, you also need to have skill as in time management for uh, per questions and also um, ability and strategy to like select certain questions and to answer certain questions and choose to answer the uh, the ones you know that are correct instead of the ones that you think are correct. Uh, I agree with that statement. Uh, you need mathematic knowledge to do this challenge, but also you need uh, to have the decision-making skills for each question. You need to consider uh, how confident you are on that question and whether you're going to answer it or not. I think it's true. You need to have like, a good knowledge about math, but you also need to have problem solving skill and time management and be able to apply to answer each question. Good afternoon, I am Mr. Riddlesell. I am Head of Maths at the Regent School and I have been teaching Maths here since 2004, which is about 18 years now. So, could you tell us more about the UKMT Challenge? Yes, the UKMT Challenge is obviously a UK mathematical challenge from the UK Maths Trust. They have a number of challenges each year. Uh, we enter the, the junior, the intermediate and the senior. So this is just one of the challenges that we uh, enter each year. And they have uh, bronze, silver and gold certificates for people who um, do very well. They also have further rounds as well. Overseas students can only enter the final Olympiad rounds. So for the UK Olympiad, you have to get beyond the gold um, and score quite highly. We have had one student, Serena, two years ago, who did manage to get into the Olympiad round. Um, but it's, it is um, a very high-flying student who manages to do that. But you never know. Um, maybe Pear will surprise us next year. Here at Regents, how did you help or prepare our students for this challenge? For, for my particular class, say Year 10 for example, we've been doing UK Maths Challenge questions at the beginning of lessons and uh, some of them becoming to ECAs um, for the last three stroke four years. So they have had a lot of practice over the years at developing their problem-solving skills. I can see the success in this particular Year 10 class in that um, only two people did not get a certificate uh, in Year 10 and they actually didn't join in Year 7, they've joined a little bit later on, therefore they haven't actually had the practice that some of the others have. So. Um, Yep, it's over time. They have included, in, improved their problem-solving skills and uh, hopefully 
will continue to get better results next year.